Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I'm going to share my perspective to a question that I saw raised on a blog today. In producing an executive summary of the data contained in an Excel list, should I use the sum if function or should I simply go ahead and create a pivot table? Now I'll let you be the judge but I'm going to walk you through the process. Here is the data that we wish to produce an executive summary for. Two approaches. One is to use the sum if function to sum unique values in the range. The second approach is to go ahead and just create a pivot table. All right, let's come over here and take a look at the list. Now I have this as set up as a structured data list because I've clearly identified my headers. Let's see the extent of this range. I'll use the keyboard shortcut control down arrow. So when Excel finds the first blank column, the first blank row, that is the definition of the data range. Now, before we proceed, notice over here in the name dropdown that I have created named ranges. So I created name ranges, and I'll show you how to do that in a separate lesson. So I have a name range for each of the field headers over here. So if I want to quickly find a range for product, I use the drop down, come over here, and here is the product range. Now that's going to be important because I use name ranges to create a sum if. Now sum if requires two arguments, and it has an optional third argument. So the required arguments are the range. Evaluate the range. In this case, notice that it's the name range product. So look inside this range to find this criteria or to match this criteria. The criteria is the value over here in G2. Now I had to go through several steps to extract the unique values in column D. And again, I'll use that in a separate lesson. So match the criteria to the range. And then I use the optional third argument for sum if which is to sum a range. So the range that I'm going to sum is column E, revenue. So the criteria will be find this unique value inside this range and then produce a summary of this range, revenue. All right, let's begin over here. Let's just copy these unique values, control C, and I'll paste them over here, control V. Now we'll use sum if, equals sum if. Notice that in Excel 2007, you have what's called function autocomplete. I like it a lot. I'll use the tab key because I want to use sum if. Now, I like to use the dialog box, the function arguments dialog box. Use control A as a keyboard shortcut to bring up the function arguments dialog box. Again, notice three arguments. Two are required, range and criteria. Notice that they're in bold. Here's our third optional argument. All right, so first is the range, is the range of cells you want to evaluate. Since I've created names, I'll use the keyboard shortcut F3, function 3. I want to evaluate the name range product. My criteria is going to be this relative cell reference, in this case, J2. My third argument, which is the optional argument, I want to produce a summary or sum this range. F3 is I want to sum revenue. Click OK. Now when I click OK, there is my value. Let me use the format paintbrush to just copy the formatting over here. And now to copy it down, all I have to do is double click in the lower right corner and I have my autocomplete. Want to provide the sum, here's another keyboard shortcut, Alt equal, and there is my value. All right, so fairly easy, discounting the fact that it took me several steps to go through and extract the unique values, plus it's another step to create the names. Now let's see about producing a pivot table. Select one cell in your data set, go up to the Insert tab of the ribbon, choose Pivot Table, and in this case, what I want to do is I'm going to accept this default because this, again, I know that's the range. But I want to create the pivot table here on the worksheet starting in this cell. And now click OK. All I have to do is select product, and product gets automatically added into the rows. 
and then I want to have a sum of revenue and revenue gets added into the values. I'll make one final change. I'll use the value field settings dialog box to format the numbers using currency and using zero decimal places. Click OK. Click OK. And there is the same result. Now again, which approach you use is up to you. Do you want to use the sum if function? Do you want to use a pivot table? My recommendation is that you become uh, flexible and that you learn both approaches. Sometimes it will be easier to use sum if, sometimes it's easier to create a pivot table. Now these are examples of some of the lessons that I include on my DVD, the 50 best tips for Excel 2007. And I'll see you in the next lesson.